We're joined now by Preet Bharara, former U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, author of the new book, Doing Justice, A Prosecutor's Thoughts on Crime, Punishment, and the Rule of Law. Welcome. You just heard Jay Sekular right there saying, case closed, time to move on. Well, not quite yet. <clears throat> I, I think on collusion, the case is closed. I think Bob Mueller is owed a debt of gratitude by all of us. Uh, he did a thorough, complete investigation, found no evidence, uh, not sufficient evidence to make a charge in connection with conspiracy uh, uh, relating to interference with the election. On the issue of obstruction, we're sort of not done. Uh, it seems to me that there was a very, it was a very close case. Bob Mueller decided not to make a determination about whether or not a charge could be brought. And you only do that if there's substantial evidence of obstruction. And he's getting some criticism for that. You called him America's hero yesterday. Some people are saying he punted on that big question. How do you explain that? Was he trying to send that question to Congress? That's what it appears to be. Uh, so my first reaction was it seems to be an, ab an abdication of responsibility. You give a case to a special prosecutor, a special counsel, for that person to make a, prosecutu a prosecutive decision, he did not. It may be that he thought, given how high the stakes were and how sort of... Um, uh, close the question was on obstruction that that's a question best left for Congress. So he punts to Congress and then sort of Bill Barr runs on the field, takes the ball and runs it in for a touchdown. And, to and the Democrats president. are criticizing that right there. They're saying, first of all, he had a bias on this question of obstruction. Also questioning whether Rod Rosenstein, who was a witness to the firing and participant in the firing of James Comey, could decide on this question of, of obstruction at all. Yeah, it's a little bit odd. But, but, but the interesting thing about that is Democrats were in a position to complain about uh, Rod Rosenstein being involved in the case because he had this conflict. They didn't do that because for a year and a half, almost two years, they viewed Rod Rosenstein as one of the chief protectors of, of Robert Mueller during the course of the investigation. So it's a little bit hard for them to complain at this point. How much of the Mueller report can and should the Congress and the public see? You're a former prosecutor. Uh, the Justice Department guidelines say the people who aren't prosecuted should not, they should not be tarnished. Well, the president stands in a different position. The president has the protection of this Office of Legal Counsel opinion that says a, a sitting president can't be prosecuted. The president also is the only person among the people being looked at who is subject to accountability by the Congress through something called impeachment. Now, some people want to do impeachment. Some people don't want to do impeachment. But the fact remains, especially because uh, Bob Mueller seems to, as we've been discussing, seems to have wanted to punt the question to Congress because Congress is in a position to decide, even if there was no clear violation of an obstruction of justice statute, there may have been sufficient evidence for them to make a determination about abuse of power. Former Solicitor General Neil Cattile has said that Congress will win the case of trying to get the entire Mueller report sent to them. Are you that confident? I'm pretty confident, but what I'm not confident about is how long it's going to take. It may take a very, very long time. What you have now is you have some report of, of indeterminate length. We don't even know the length. I'm not sure why that is. But you have sort of in the public consciousness this four-page letter that summarizes it, which, which is you know, kind of describing it and crystallizing for people what it is and putting in their brains what Bill Barr thinks it is. And it may be a long time before we see what all the details were. And there might be a big disconnect between the two. Preet Bharara, thanks very much. Thanks. Robert. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.